Want to learn how to do this? Well, let me show you. Hey everybody, Tim from Black Swamp Percussion here, and I'm going to try to set you up for success when performing a castanet redoble roll. So the first thing to mention uh, when learning to play the redoble castanet roll is to turn our handled castanets upside down. So basically, if you see this T flange here, that's the top of the castanet, you're going to turn that uh, so it's facing your leg. Uh, you won't be able to play the castanet roll with these knobs or the T flange uh, facing upward. So another thing is your posture, okay, is specifically your leg here. I prefer it to not be too high, not really a 90 degree angle uh, at my knee here, but basically have my leg a little bit lower to the ground. I have my foot on something that props my leg up so I don't fall over when I'm trying to play and make that performance easier for you. So your leg is a little bit lower, castanets are turned, and you're not going to use a traditional snare drum stroke where you're using some fingers and wrist. Really, this is a firmer grip where you're using mostly wrist and some arm, and that's where you're going to get the best redoble or what I call a click clack. One way to think about the click clack is a bit of a pickup. So your main stroke is hitting your leg and that pickup sound, the little click, is right before that. You hear that? The little click clack, click clack. And it's not going to be evilly spaced. It's not going to be like an eighth note. Click clack, click clack. It's going to be click clack, click clack. Say that along with me. Click clack, click clack. Excellent. As you become more comfortable with that, start playing basically a single stroke roll. The very first rudiment we learn is percussionists. So that's pretty slow. If you speed it up, you'll get a kind of a fuller, more dense roll sound. So that's it.